vamos directo a Los Ángeles. Ya ven que nos ponemos muy internacionales. Por allá está nuestra querida Nani Cárdenas, que nos tiene información del lanzamiento del DVD de la cinta Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Eso mismo. Vamos a ver <risa> lo que sucedió. Vamos, Nani. <risa> Sorry, my English. Tessa, very nice to meet you. We're very excited with the release of this DVD and Blu-ray and 4K. What does represent this character in your career as an actress? I think this character represents so many things. You know, um, someone that is really focused on representation in media. I think that we have the, the you know, the opportunity in the movies that we watch and the, te in the, the movies that we watch and make and, and the television shows and all of the media, not just to reflect culture, but to create it. Um, and I think that cultural change always precedes political change. And I want to live in a world in an America that is in inclusive of all of us, where we all feel safe and seen and have equality. And so I think that having content where we are all represented, um, no matter our ethnicity, no matter our sexual orientation. So it's important to me in, in big mainstream movies that you that you have, uh, you know, people of color that are represented. And so it was paramount to me to, to see a character like Valkyrie, if, even if she wasn't played by me, to be played by a woman of color. I thought that was so powerful. Valkyrie is a very strong uh, character and also it's very flexible. How was your training for this movie? Intense. My <laughs> training was so intense. I, I got muscles in places I didn't know that muscles could uh, exist. I, I, you know, was constantly sore. <laughs> all the time and I really pushed myself beyond what I thought was capable um, which was such a such an incredible challenge for me I also got to work with a, a, a woman a woman bodybuilder who was my trainer and that was really important to me and we were really you know when Kate Blanchett was on set she came and she trained some but I was there for five months and invariably she and I my my trainer Amber Walker were the only two women on this soundstage and my and my uh, stunt double Tara Mack and the three of us, but apart from that is a pretty male-dominated space, so it was really fun to really push ourselves and show the guys that we're, we're capable of the same, the same stuff. <laughs> Great. Okay. 